Hey everyone! Today I'm showing you three really cute and easy fall DIYs I put together. Also, I'm fighting off a bit of a cough so I will not be narrating this video, but everything is pretty self-explanatory. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope you have a wonderful week and stay well. I just wanted to add a little note here. <clears throat> I first covered both plaques with a layer of polycrylic and then I used something called a, it's a hippo water transfers, I believe they're called. I will link them in the description box below. They're pretty cool. I've used them before and um, I really enjoy them. It's a really fun element to use. So if you're looking for something new, I would encourage you to try them out. They're really fun.
and because I can't keep myself from talking, and it's been a couple of days so I feel a little better, but in the past I have always wanted to play around with one of these puff ball makers. I usually make them out of a cereal box or something like that. They're really simple to make, but I've always wanted to try one of these out. And because I was making a larger project, I decided to purchase these and see if they were worth the money. And they are really fun to use. Um, as you can see, they cut the time pretty, pretty nicely. So it's not necessary. You can use cardboard if you were just making a small project or if you didn't want to purchase a new tool. But these were pretty fun to use and it was interesting to use a new project, project, product. Although the scissors it came with, they are not good. I'm gonna take like a semi-long piece. How this works. <laughs> it's pretty straight. Oh my gosh, this dryer it was pretty flat. Look at that. It's nice. Pretty cool. Like a little snowball. I like it. I have also always wanted a sign with the Ten Commandments and I decided I was going to finally make one and this one was actually really simple to make. I actually used an old shelf from a broken bookcase that I had so <clears throat> it turned out pretty cool.
And lastly, I have had these IKEA chairs and table set for, I think about 15 years and the seats finally gave out. So I decided to try my hand at recovering them so that, you know, the reeds on the seat would stop poking us in our bottoms. I don't know if I necessarily did it the correct way, but it turned out pretty nice in my seats. I feel have a very nice little facelift and they are really pretty. And I love my table. So of course the first day that I put them around the table, my daughter spilled punch and a little drop got on one of the cushions, but then I ordered some plastic seat covers and as you can see they are so huge. So I decided to cut those down to size and see if I could do the same type of wrap as if I was covering the chairs in vinyl, so I figured I would try that, and that turned out actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I actually filmed this quite a while ago, a few months ago, so the chairs have been holding up pretty well, and they're very easy to clean, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> 